All right, so we got Assassin's Creed Shadows explain this great video. I'm excited. This is Akeem Milne, the assistant director. Of so this is the whole breakdown. Let's go. Assassin's Creed Shadows. And I'm Jonathan Simon, creative director of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Okay. Today, we're going to take a look at our reveal trailer uh, of Assassin's Creed Shadows. From the beginning, we really wanted to try to create this atmosphere of danger. So we're getting glimpses of our shinobi protagonist, Nawe. Nawe, okay. She chases down a target through the shadows. You want it to feel as though she has complete control over her environment. I mean, I'm assuming like she does. To old ninja films where we just get like little glimpses of her in the background. Not really sure what we're seeing. And finally, we get her incredible reveal here, cloaked in shadows. Nawe is from Iga. He is a Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, daughter of Fujibayashi uh, Nagato. She is a capable person, let's say that. As we are going to learn in the trailer, she will be taking on a role uh, of protector. Uh-oh, GG's. You're done. Oh, okay, I thought she just disappeared. What we're the province of Iga, the homeland of uh, Nawe. It's isolated a little bit in, in the mountains. And they were home of the Shinobi. They come from here, or at least a portion of them come from here. And the interesting thing is, once we traveled to Japan and we visited uh, this province, it came very clear how that world came together. Like, so it, it's sort of isolated in the mountains, sort of kept to itself. It's a very good representation, in my opinion, of, uh, of that place. Okay. Our customs. My family. Burns. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, GG's. Uh-oh. It's go time. So what we're seeing here are the troops of Oda Nobunaga. In 1579, there was a first attack from uh, Oda Nobunaga's clan. And then in uh, 1581, there was a second attack, a much more uh, violent one, where uh, Iga got crushed. And what we're seeing here is the Oda troops marching into uh, the province of Iga. So I say why... The split screen to the trailer was part of our attempt at formulating an homage towards a lot of Japanese media and culture. And so we try to incorporate some of that style into the game as well. Okay. So like a lot of our cutscenes and cinematics. And we thought it'd be really Ooh, cool four piece of death. Push for it in the reveal trailer as well. It allows us to kind of show off both protagonists at various points in their lives and how maybe that relationship can change over time. Change over we time? What that mean? It turns around and says, You are still a frog in a well. Ooh. Who knows nothing of the sea? It is a, a proverb from Japan. For us, it sort of resonates with both uh, their journey. As they open their eyes or know a little bit more, things are not necessarily as they seem. Uh, and, and that's sort of a driving force for them. That's what is going to unite now in Yasuke. Oh, okay, so they're not going to turn each other? Okay, cool. The ocean's filled with new ships. So here we're in Sakai, a big port in Japan. Uh, the ships that we are seeing are uh, Portuguese ships. They are oh. uh, a version of the black ships or a lot of the merchant ships that were uh, coming in and out of Japan at this point. Uh, a few came to Sakai, but mostly in Nagasaki. But for uh, the sake of the trailer, it's happening. In hey, they did they research. Okay. I don't like it. I love it. What we're seeing on screen is Oda Nobunaga. So he is known for being uh, one of the three great unifiers of Japan. Uh, a very polarizing character, uh, depending on which side you were. We're seeing Yasuke's first audience here with, with Oda Nobunaga. And one of the reasons why this meeting could even happen is due to Oda's deep relations with the Portuguese through trade. Oh, which snap. Him becoming quite a force to reckon with when it came to... Man, Japan. traded some pack of Cheetos for, for a lesson. Oda Nobunaga is an incredibly powerful figure at the time. Very important to our story as well. There are a lot of speculation about uh, Yasuke's arrival in Japan. The most common one is uh, that Yasuke came in a couple of years before uh, before this meeting, and he learned Japanese quite quite fast, and he was very fluent into the the Japanese culture. Okay. And impressed Oda, so his stature, of course, impressed Oda. He was seen as super big. His skin uh, color was one thing as well. That of course. The reports on the Chronicle of Oda say that that was the first uh, African man that Oda had ever seen. Oh. Oda just asked him to stay uh, with him, and this is what. We know pretty much of the story of Yasuke. So there are a couple of elements. Bro, he's like fast and big. Oh, my God. Our uh, historical reports of, of his presence. But then after that, uh, there's quite a bit of an interesting uh, what if uh, with him that, that will happen. So like, no one's going to turn to each other, right? Like no one's going to like double cross each other, right? Uh, the initial volley. Was like no shot, right? Had very early on, this really cool idea of the, the initial reveal of Yasuke emerging from the gun smoke. 
to us that really ties him to Oda's battle style and as oh. one of the most important people to Oda in our game specifically. And what we're seeing here is Bro, he's hard though, I can't lie to you. Rival clan. Um, swing, big swing. was taking down some of these rival clans for territory. What we see Ooh, four piece of death. Moves. These are all moves that are going to be in the game. We specifically made sure all the choreography shown in Bro, the trailer. Look at his armor. From gameplay itself. Look at his armor. It looks to kill. Baby, I'm the fashion. One of our big breakthroughs in this game is definitely this element of dynamic time, seasons, and weather. And we were kind of racking our brains with how to depict this in, in, a, in a trailer. Uh, and so one of the ways we thought about establishing their relationship was to kind of break the rules of time a lot. We're seeing them out of place a lot. They're, they're yeah, I was going to say that. It might not be literally the first time they meet or lock eyes. And what we're seeing here really is kind of a culmination of both of their journeys. Even though Yasuke has been on a journey as a fighter for Oda Nobunaga, does he think that this is the right thing to do? Now he's confronted to uh, the destruction of the province of Iga. So sort of a tying two worlds together at this point. In particular, the shot of them in the open field to us is really this moment out of time. It's them speaking to each other on a level that might not literally have ever happened. But it's really the moment that really brings them together. And just like a quick mm. little note here for those eagle-eyed viewers, uh, you'll notice that the split screen is slightly different here, which was once again a deliberate decision we made. The other one has a bit more of a slant to it, yeah. a bit more aggressive, especially if you're familiar with like anime or manga codes, comic yeah. codes. But here, bringing it, flattening it out a little bit, establishes that maybe the relationship is different. I don't want to speak too much about that, but oh no 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 no, speak, bro, game, speak. Unification is a really big deal. And I think the concept of unification can mean very different things to different people. Uh, and it definitely resonates differently for our two main characters. And we must look for so are they going to, like, are we going to, like, switch between the two? Like, it's GTA or, or what? So what we're seeing here is that Naoi and Yasuke uh, do have allies in the world. Like, Obviously, yeah. Shinobi, she has access to a network of spies and people that can help her and trade for information. And we're seeing here is somebody giving her information on the whereabouts of the person that she's looking for. In the game, you can switch between both characters as you please. They do have a-, a I told you. They're, they're not played, so they, when you switch back characters, you can see them do something different. I told you. Most of our- It's like, it's, it's gonna be like GTA. For both play styles to work kind of perfectly. And you can choose the one that you prefer. If you want to go in and just be uh, full of brawn, cut people down with Yasuke, you have that option. Oh, that's me. Take a sneakier option. Well, you'll see what that looks like in a second. Oh, that's me. That's me. That's me. This is my favorite part. The wink. A big thing we were pushing for in our trailer was to really humanize our protagonists. Real emotional stakes make them feel like people you could actually see in real life. Especially given that Yasuke is based off a real person. We wanted to be authentic. At least wait, somewhat to, to a he, wait, he's based off a real guy? That he portray. Wait, he was a real guy? He was a real man? Uh-oh. We developed quite a bit of... Um, new tools for now and stealth and one of them is the grappling hook and the grappling hook allows you to climb over uh, walls that you cannot climb with uh, Yasuke or with oh uh, okay open different paths uh, for now and there's quite a bit of hook points in the game so within every layout that you're gonna see and sometimes to come in from a different uh, entry point so it's an integral part of their stealth arsenal as uh, so you can navigate much faster okay and that's one of the big changes between uh, Yasuke and Naoi. Uh -oh. the key differences is her ability to take a much more vertical approach. And a lot of our locations are big castles, big ten shoes with these giant walls. And it offers her a whole new vantage point for a lot of, uh, for a lot of these missions where Yasuke doesn't have necessarily the same opportunity. Okay. Now we can fight the older own against a few enemies, but she's Ooh. not a big brawler like Yasuke is to take on. Oh no, I'm a big brawler. Enemies, right? She is light armored and she's quick and she's agile. And that's definitely one of the key elements, uh, her, her sheer speed. She's very, very quick and extremely Oh, okay. Fast, I mean, obviously. But as soon as she's seen, uh, the danger really rises for her. And she's got to get out of there as fast as possible. Oh, so like she... So like she relies on like the on like the entire like... Yeah, this is my type of is style right here. In the game, Joe? Yeah. Are, are some things breakable in our yeah, game, Yeah, shit say? is breakable in the game. <laughs> part of our dynamic world and the dynamism that we create oh yeah this is my type of guy right here also in the low level destruction so the uh, the weapons that uh, we put a lot of little technological uh, breakthroughs uh, for our weapons where you can 
destroy a large amount of uh, props in the game. You can see him plow through uh, the Suji doors. You can, uh, you know, destroy a full market if you wanted with the Kanobu. Obviously, the goal is still not to break everybody's stuff. Oh, no, I want to break everybody's stuff. You can do it as well as uh, now, wait, uh, depending on the weapons they're using. That's right. Yasuke is not the only one that can break through those Shoji doors. Now I can assassinate people through them. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. They didn't show us that. Yasuke can carry around in the game. It's called the Kenobu. It's a very heavy weapon that does a lot of damage. It's a little bit of a slower weapon. Oh, I mean, I can see. Katana, for example. But it is a weapon that brings a lot of destruction as Yasuke wields it. And Yasuke is a strong man. So I mean, obviously. Oh, my goodness. I said. Oh, you're done. Bro, you're done, bro. I can't lie. This part right here went crazy. Hold up. We are the shadows. Uh-uh. This part right here was hard. Hold up. The way he... The hidden blade has two functions, so it, it can come out as a regular hidden blade, like uh, for stabbing I people. thought that was like an Assassin's Creed thing. A, a, the second portion, flip it so that she has a dual wield. Uh, using a smaller weapon called a Tanto and uh, her hidden blade at the same time. So uh, that's a very fast damaging <laughs> situation for most people that are fighting her at that time. And what Joe touched on is something that I know fans have been wanting for a long time to bring back hidden blade combat, like being able to just fight with your hidden blade. And we brought that back with the Tanto style. It's very cool, very fast. Once again, oh very my lethal. goodness, the way she dodged that was insane though. Like the way she when it came to the name of the game, that was something I remember Joe talking about, making sure we had some sort of base into the original lore, and this line was always something that really stuck out with you. We put it in the trailer as well as a, as a kind of punctuation. Shadows, they are working in the shadows to serve the light. And that's that's always been the callback we wanted to conjure with this. Paired with that is also our renewed emphasis on stealth. Now this is going to be hard though. I can't lie to you. A lot of new mechanics we've added. There are a lot of really interesting tools we've given Nawe. I think for fans of stealth, you're going to be extremely pleased with some of the mechanics we've added into the game. And on, a little bit on a meta level for Ooh. characters, Nawe being a shinobi, but coming from a place that is not not necessarily prominent or, or just at the forefront of the conflict, but a little bit more uh, emerging back from the shadows and it fits with, with her and Yasuke as well coming from a, a, a background that's outside of Japan they are lurking in the shadows but they are doing so to protect the land this is a very interesting narrative that will flow towards something pretty positive for us uh, in the game and, and very satisfying in my opinion nah this is gonna be hard bro this is this no 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 watching. Assassin's Creed Shadows is out November 15th November 15th Bro, this is gonna be absolutely hard, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. And then you can, and then I just now learned that you can like switch between like any. That's hard. Listen, now one thing that I want to touch on, you know, before I get out of here was um, what's with the, what, what's with this? And I, here's the thing. And I know I'm asking like a stupid question, but like, what's with like the like the whole Twitter thing? Like, what's going on with the like the like? I don't understand. Like, I I, I truly don't understand. Like. And again, it's Twitter. Like, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just asking. It's kind of like I'm just asking like a, a like a rhetorical question here. Um, I don't really, I don't really like, like, and I'm, I'm kind of glad that I don't know everything about what's going on with Twitter in this game. But I heard that like people were trying to like, like say this was like racist or something like that. Like, I don't under, like, ah, oh, man, that bro, that app makes my brain hurt. Like, like, like. <laughs> Like I go on there just to like see like news and stuff like that about gaming or whatever, da da da, and I'm out. Like I, bro, I do not sit on there for more than an hour because if I do, bro, I feel like my brain cells are like, I feel like they're just burning away. Like I just feel like they're just like just, <laughs> like they're just they're, like they're just flying like out of my breath or something. Like I, I really just can't stand Twitter as a whole. But like, I saw that there was like some type of controversy with with people saying that this game was racist somehow and all. Like it's just stupid, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about? This full breakdown of the game comes out November 15th. Um, yeah, this, this is definitely going to be hard, bro. And, and I'm definitely going to remember the date because once a game that I see, like, is this hard or whatever, I always remember it. I, I always remember the date. I promise you. See you guys later. Thanks for the mouth. And 